All right, let's give this thing some legs. The first thing we want to do is make sure that everything is parented correctly. This is our main object, right? We can delete this camera since nothing is being projected anymore. We can take these. All of this should be parented to the bottom part. So now that looks good. I want to parent that to the main object. Let's see. Pretty close. Let's take these air conditioners, this air conditioner, and we'll take these roof items as well. Okay, so now when I drag this around, you can see everything sticks, which is what we want. Okay, now if we enable this legs collection, this gives us a pair of legs. So I am not a hard surface modeler. Um, we're not gonna make these from scratch, obviously. Um, these are ones that I found online that are public domain. I modified them a little bit to sort of fit our needs, but let's just take that. We'll select the whole thing and move it under our building. I think here looks good and we'll move it this way as well. Right about there. I think that looks good. And let's take this whole thing, hit Alt D to duplicate the instance, and drag it back to there. Maybe a little further. How about that? All right, now we got some legs. Easy as that. Or is it easy as that? You'll see if we move the building, first of all, the legs are not attached. Let's take these pelvises, pelvi, I don't know the plural of that, and we'll parent it to the main, control P. So now those are moving. And we want these to be ready for animation, right? They want it, we need these walking. We're gonna do that with an armature. So here's the way we'll do that. In object mode, go shift A and Armature, single bone. Let's go to this panel here, the, uh, I guess it's called data, viewport display and say in front. And let's put this first bone right in the middle of the house, like that. Let's go into edit mode and let's flip it 180 so it's pointed down. We're gonna do Shift D and duplicate this. Let's put this bone right so it's in the center of this joint. Select the front part and let's put it here. We're gonna extrude this using E to right about here. And one more time, we're gonna extrude to the foot. Select this whole thing, Shift D. Let's move this back to the other leg. Let's go into front mode. Let's line this up. And let's duplicate both of those and line it onto the other legs. Great. So now we have all our bones. Let's select these four upper leg bones and the top bone and do Control P, keep offset. Okay, that didn't work. We might have to do these individually. I don't know why that doesn't work. There we go. I might have selected it wrong. You should have these four lines connected though, so it should look like this. We're going to go to pose mode. You see the problem is that we want this to be an IK rig and it is currently set up in FK. If you don't know the difference between FK and IK, so I have this little hand model. If something is FK, 
that means that you have to animate it like this. You would animate this joint, and then this joint, and then this joint. But if something is IK, you can animate it from the front, and you can just drag this to where you want it to go, and the other bones will um, basically be calculated and move on their own, you'll see. So just like that example, see, if I want this bone, if I want this leg to be extended, I can't just drag this. I would have to take this, take this, and then take this takes a while, right? So the much easier way is to switch this to IK. So to do IK, you need an IK controller. The controller is going to be these feet bones. Let's go back into edit mode, take all of these, do Alt P, clear parent. Okay, so now these should not be attached. Let's go back to pose mode. You want to click each foot and then the corresponding lower leg bone and hit Shift I to active bone, and that's what you should see. You can see it's already kind of working if you do this. But let's do that for each of these to start. Shift I, Shift I, and Shift I. Okay, great. Now, as you can see, we have a slight issue. All of these are moving in a weird way when we just move one. We don't want that. We want each leg to move one at a time. So. We're going to click on these lower leg bones and change the chain length to just two. Now, these should be working. And the beautiful thing is we can even use this bone like that. Okay, great. So the bones are working now, but nothing is really attached to them. Now we have to begin this process of parenting all of these meshes to the bones. The way we do this is we'll click on a mesh, shift click on the armature, go into pose mode, and then click that corresponding bone, control P, set parent to bone. This might be tedious, but it can go pretty quick if you uh, put on some music. Okay, and then finally we're going to select this main apartment mesh, select the armature, and that's going to get the main bone. So now when we're in pose mode, look at this. We can control our whole thing from that bone, and the legs work too. So now all that's left to do is give this thing a walk cycle, and we can have it walking, right? So the way I would do this walk cycle and I'm not going to make you do it because it's going to take so long. Feel free to do it if you want, or feel free to open my next blend file where it's going to be finished. Um, you might lose your custom ground and roof items, but I'll, t I'll explain how I would do this, and then I'll show you in a time lapse. First of all, let's flip this around. We can open this here. So basically, I want to match all of these poses on each of these legs. So I'll show you the first one. We want to get this first contact pose on the first set of legs. Let's also move this whole thing up now so it's touching the ground. Let's do our first pose. First of all, let's put on auto keyframe so we don't have to add keyframes every single step. Hit the armature, go into pose mode, and let's match this position. We'll bring this leg forward and this one backwards. And just try to get it as close as you can. Make sure the feet are above the ground because it would be physically impossible for it to go beneath that line. Maybe a little further back on this one. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little forward on this one. Looks about right. I'm gonna start doing the rest of the poses for these front legs.
know, this um, this pose that I'm making on frame 25, this should actually match the first frame in reverse. So you can use that as a bit of a template. Now I'm just going to copy these poses to the back legs and offset them by half the duration. offset them by a quarter of a duration. So I want this frame 13 to be the first pose like that. There we go, and that's our walking animation. Now let's go out of pose mode into object mode. We're going to give this a little bit of a strut. We're going to animate the whole thing starting here, create a location keyframe into the end at 48. Another one. And we're going to drag this forward. Do Shift E, linear extrapolation. Let's make it go a little further. I can see the feet are not totally synced. A little further. Okay, and I would fine tune this more normally, but I think this is good enough for our needs. Oh, one last thing. Let's give this a bit of a tilting animation on this bone. Now in the next video, we're gonna put this into a scene.